to preview the inflation mesh, right click on mesh and preview inflation. Again, the computer would take some time to run the calculations. And after the mesh has been generated, click show mesh and click on mesh. And here we can see this layer of inflation mesh. The boundaries of the wall have been inflated. You can turn around and look at the accents as well. And once we have checked the inflation mesh, we can generate the actual mesh. To generate the actual mesh, click on Generate Mesh. You can check once more. And here we can add section planes to see the to see our mesh more clearly. So here you can click at negative Y and change to this orientation. And then go to new section plane and draw a horizontal line to add a new section. And then under the section planes menu, click on section plane 1 and click on edit section plane button. This will allow you to see the mesh more clearly. And you can also check this show whole elements for a more realistic 3D view of the mesh. You can click here to look at the other orientation. And you can move this bar to see different layers of mesh that has been generated. And to close the section plane window, just unselect section plane 1 and this will return to your mesh. Okay, before closing, you might want to save the project in case of failures. And here, I'm going to save it as bifurcating artery. And click save.